Watch your kid! Welcome back to Otaku's Got Tezuka. The reviews are over, the judges are gathered, and now it's time for the hard part. All right, we got a difficult decision ahead of us. We got a mm-hmm. knockdown from 25 to 5. So, <sighs> this is a lot. This has been like, what, 26 weeks it's of been, work? It's been a great year of Tezuka. But now we gotta choose the winners. We gotta pick five, and then we'll pick the top five from there. This is one of my favorites right here. Yeah, but I feel like it's pandering to you. But no, this, no, this one's not, there's nothing wrong with that. This is amazing because it's just fun. That I, was one of the funniest ones we've gotten for yeah, sure. Yeah, but yep. is that is it serious enough to win this contest? Of course it is. This is the dark horse for me. I know we've had speculations, <laughs> but this I won't wish shit. I wouldn't even put that in my top five. Disrespectful. So. For me, I would say for sure that's a must keep. Yeah, up yeah, there. Hell yeah, that's oh, I agree. God. So, I mean, but remember, when we did the top three, this was the winner. So, that's a pretty strong contender. And, I mean, like, this one just had such... It had the heart in it. It had the unique art style. It it really did. Probably some of the most unique art style out of all of them. I'm still going with that one. I I mean, I like that one a lot. So, I'm not going to be upset if we picked that one. But... Like, you know, that one's good. I mean, but you've I really got this like one, one. I've got this one. Jose, do you have Except your one of ours course? is really good and one of ours is really mediocre. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Challenger round. What about that? <laughs> no. no. I wouldn't put that one up there. No. Let's okay. put that one. We'll put that one in because you guys are hating on my favorite. But all right. I think these are good. I think we're looking at a good five. These are solid. Oof. But I am confident with these. I think these are good. I think, yeah. I think we're good with that. Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us on this special night. It is the first official annual in the future Otaku Tezuka Manga Awards that is better than the official award ceremony ceremony. As your host, Sam, I'll be taking you through the night as we go through the top five out of over 75 plus entries we've read through many, many months. The official Tezuka contest has ended and they announced their winners, which were uh, not fantastic. So, you know, it was only right that we right their wrong and we make special trophies in an award ceremony for the true winners of the contest that uh, we have picked for just because we like them. So be sure to stick around to the end because we will announce all five starting from the bottom, moving our way up, as well as some honorable mentions that we thought were fantastic, but just barely missed the cut. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick things off into the fifth place winner. I'm going to hand it over to our first presenter of the night, Josh. All right, wow, thanks, Sam. We really appreciate that intro. That was fantastic. Now let's kick things off. So in fifth place, we chose a manga that explores a really cool, popular mythology that we all love in this group. Not only does it do that, it also has a fantastic story as well as awesome art. And to boot, it's got a kick-ass and super hot main character. So in fifth place... Runebound by Natalia Batista. Congratulations on the win. You absolutely pandered to Jose and the Norse mythology. We all loved it though. We really look forward to what you do next. And thanks again, it was super awesome. Cool, huge congrats once again to Natalia from all of us here at Otaku. We're gonna move on straight to the fourth where we're gonna waste no time. This ain't some fake bullshit skit award where we're gonna put all that crap in the middle. We're moving right on to the fourth award. We're giving the people what they wanna see. And what the people wanna see is Jose. So Jose, on to you. Tonight, we got a fourth place. And this fourth place did everything right in the shonen genre. And let me tell you, from the characters, to the art, to the fighting, most importantly, to the whole story overall. It was amazing, it was great, and that fourth place is... Rising Hero by Malice and shonen San. <laughs> Huge congrats guys on the big victory, I loved it, we all loved it here, you guys did great, and we love shonen, so uh, you know, we know how to judge a shonen. Definitely one of the best shonen ones we've seen in the whole contest. Definitely deserves its fourth place victory. Big congrats to Rising Hero. We're going to move on to third place now, which is a little bit of a favorite between the group. And there's no other person to better present the award than the least favorite person of our group, Josh. On to you. Now in third place, we chose a manga that was able to pay homage to all the greats before them, do it in a beautiful art fashion, as well as poke fun at all the tropes of stereotypical manga. Now in third place, We have Crossroads Strive. Congratulations, Liam and Odie, on your win. This is super fantastic. We really loved your take on making manga and doing that in the manga. Uh, it was super creative, super fun, and we really look forward to seeing what you guys do with that world. Definitely well deserved. Congratulations to both Liam and Odie on their victory tonight. It's been one of our favorites that we've talked about, probably the most out of all of the entries. With that, we're gonna move on to second place. We're hitting top two, once again, out of over 75 entries that we read. So this is all a big accomplishment. Any of them to make the top five is fantastic. Right after we get the second one, stay around because we are gonna mention some honorable mentions. In second place, 
we have a very fun and mystical manga that we all very much enjoyed. Even Matthew, who's probably the pickiest person in the world, and he loved it for second place. And the second place goes to Keith and Jeremy's Mystical Mystery Scion. And that's by Snowy and Elisa. Congratulations, you guys. We really enjoyed it, and it was a very fun read for us all. Definitely huge congrats there. As Jose briefly mentioned, my brother is definitely uh, one of the biggest pricks when it comes to manga and anime. And you know it's good when he actually reached out to me and was like, yo, that one was actually fire. So big congrats there. That's even better than the award ceremony in itself. We're going to move on to now to honorable mentions. These are ones that didn't quite make the cut. A lot of the ones we picked tonight are ones that all three judges 100% agreed deserve their top five. So a lot of the times there was a two out of three vote that didn't quite make it in the top five. And that is going to be what we're going to mention tonight because they are fantastic, but just barely missed the cut. I will remember you. Da, 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 da. Will you remember me? Please don't copy strike me. Don't let your life pass you by. One was my favorite. We not for the memories. F's in chat for all of those that just barely missed the cut. But once again, huge congrats on even being mentioned in the list because uh, we still remembered you to this day and we think it was fantastic. We're going to move on now to first place. This is one that we truly do believe deserved to reign supreme over all of them. and didn't even get a fucking mention from the official judges, so I don't even think they read it to BH. With that, we're going to head it over to our next reigning supreme presenter, uh, Sam. And now on to the last trophy of the night. Thank you guys all for watching. Really appreciated having this opportunity. It's been fantastic, but we did save the best for last, you know, in both terms of a presenter and a manga. Me. Manga, not me. So for first place, we picked a manga that we truly believe encapsulated the essence of a one shot for this competition in terms of just sending in a full story, as well as nailing all of the things we expect to see from a full blown manga. It had great characters. The story, as I mentioned, absolutely fantastic. It destroys your hearts, a little bit of a hint there. And the world that it was able to set up in just the short few pages made it something that we would love to see more of and just have a good time in. First place goes to the Case of the Fallen Angel by Nath. Congratulations. I know there's not gonna be or I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are not very surprised by this because it was fucking fantastic. But he just managed to nail the contest, do a complete story, and when something breaks your heart, you remember it. So when we were discussing which we wanted to win, which we were thinking was the top five, this was one of the first ones we brought up, so it really did earn its spot. Congratulations to NAF. We hope to see more from you in the future. Okay, thanks for joining us. That's been our special award ceremony tonight. The one time only special semi-annual in the future Otaku Tezuka Manga Award that's better than the actual ceremony because we have trophies. So speaking of which, if you did win, feel free to reach out to us with that Twitter, Instagram, DM, contact us over email. We did actually have the trophies made. We have all five of them. They're available. We'll send them to you. You just got to reach out to us and tell us where to send them. So we've had a blast. We enjoy talking with everybody these many, many weeks of Tezuka. We will see you guys whenever we do another one, probably at the beginning of the new year once we find a new competition. So, <laughs> so thanks for joining us. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys uh, question mark next time. Bye. This will teach him for not picking dragon tofu. Hey, Jose. Um. What are you doing? Not nothing. Okay, give me the lighter. Give me the lighter. Thought I had them all. Give me, give me the lighter. Fucking Jose. Jose. God, I never get to do anything fun here. Fucking asshole.